Well, hi there. I'm Dr. Dan Newsom, and today we're talking about gut health and how it pertains to your overall health. If you like what you're learning would like to learn more, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Let's dive right in. So the digestive tract. The digestive tract has multiple chambers. It's the best way to think of it, okay? So think of your digestive tract as having different chambers. So let's talk about what these chambers do, okay? The first one, the mouth and throat, is where, well, obviously in the mouth, you have the chewing action where the food gets torn and crushed into smaller pieces, but also it's where food is mixed with saliva, which has a starch digesting enzyme called amylase. And then it moves into the stomach Okay, and in the stomach, the food is mixed in with the stomach acid where the protein is getting torn apart into smaller pieces so it's easier to digest. And then once that happens, it moves into the small intestine. And right at the very beginning of the small intestine, the food gets injected with enzymes from the pancreas and bile from the liver and gallbladder to start emulsifying the fats and breaking everything down into smaller and smaller particles. In the small intestine is where we absorb most of our minerals. We absorb our fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. It's also where we absorb our proteins, our carbohydrates, and our fats. And we only absorb a small amount of water in the small intestine, okay? And it's there where the microbiome actually drinks more water than we do in the small intestine. We absorb most of our water in the next chamber, the colon, okay? When the food then moves from the small intestine and goes into the colon, it's in the colon where we absorb most of our water. And it's where we absorb our water-soluble vitamins like vitamin B, okay, all the different B-complex vitamins, and vitamin C. So with this understanding that you're absorbing your water and your water-soluble vitamins through your colon, uh, doesn't it make sense to keep your colon clean, right? Because if you have waste caked on the wall of the colon, uh, those B vitamins in the water have to absorb, they have to go through that waste before they can get to your bloodstream. So what does that mean? What are they carrying with them? Think about that for a minute, okay? Um, so all these folks that have a real hard problem metabolizing B vitamins or utilizing B vitamins, we have to go back and correct the toxicity of the colon in order to correct their B vitamin metabolism. So now that we've discussed the different chambers of the gut, let's talk about how the gut actually affects all the rest of the system, right? Well, the first thing that is that the gut does for us is it's where we receive our nutrition. Okay, we receive our nutrients from our gut. And if the gut isn't absorbing those nutrients, we can't repair ourselves very well. Okay, and so there's, there are different things that impair nutri your, your absorption of nutrients. Uh, one is toxins. Uh, we got food additives. We got sugar, uh, antibiotics. Uh, exposure to mold, uh, viruses, um, bacteria, you know, different uh, candida overgrowth, different infections and things like that, okay, they all trigger an irritation and an inflammatory response in the gut, okay? When the gut becomes irritated, uh, it has this inflammatory response, which then triggers more inflammatory response throughout the whole system. Okay, and it kind of starts from the gut and works its way out. And this, this whole inflammatory response is something that then bogs down the immune system, impairing the immune system's ability to, to function uh, because it is, one, maintaining this inflammatory response, and two, it's trying to contain any toxins or uh, viruses or fungus or bacteria that might be floating into the bloodstream via the irritated uh, digestive tract. And so we have the irritation in the digestive tract, the inflammatory response from the immune system, uh, and they, they become cyclic, okay? So if we have all these irritants going into the system, we're not only not absorbing nutrients very well, we're also triggering inflammation throughout the system through the irritation of the gut. 
you know, this was a fairly short video and gut health is a massive, massive subject. So stay tuned because I'll be out releasing more and more videos on this subject. And as always, if you are looking for more information on gut health or enzymes or anything like that, take a look at our website, drnewsom.com. Thank you.